Hey everybody, I'm Sam. I'm Adam. And I'm Will. And we are Working Titles! Guy for God! We are back for another episode of Vinland Saga. This is Season 1, Episode 16, The History of Beasts. Last on, I do believe we lost someone. We lost... Ragnar. Ragnar. Yep. Uh, stabbed in the back by Askeladd and his cronies. Because Askeladd's ready for a takeover. He wants to be the next leader of Canute. But, does anyone remember what Ragnar told him in his last dying breaths? In Denmark, there's two factions. One uh, wants Canute to be the leader, and the other side wants his brother Harold mm-hmm. to be the leader. Their father wants, I'm assuming, Harold to be the leader because he wants Canute to be killed. That's why yes. he put him out here on this mission. Uh, Thorkel, he found something out, right? Dude. That they're still here and that they're not far behind? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. They found from uh, the girl from yes. the previous episode. Yes. Yeah. They found from the girl in the previous episode that they are here and not far. Okay. And Thorkel's ready to turn that into an entire campaign. Yeah. To get some fighting in before winter ends it all. He was, yeah. Or until was, the kings end it all. Yeah, he was very sad. But not anymore. Yeah. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts on History of Beasts and <clears throat> Vinland Saga in general. Check out Patreon. We have this show a week in advance, as well as Jujutsu Kaisen, Full Metal Alchemist, and Squid Games. And that's it, JJJ? JJK? Yes, you did. Yes, you you did. said all yeah, four. So go check out all of them and then come back and watch your boys right here. As long as you go and check this out first, because it's not Market Substitute, we're going to punch it. Bow! Wow, hit you with a winger, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is not Ragnar. Whoa. Oh, oh, gross. Ooh, yummy. Nom, 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 nom. It's yummy. That's an a, oh, that's an owl? They do that? Oh, wow. This said it really was a fight. Remember when we weren't sure if there was actually a fight yeah. happening or not? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, they no. brought the body. Tragically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's a massive sword for a massive man. Mm -hmm. No, he's gonna put it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still his babysitter, Thorfinn. That's a reality shot maybe, for a kid. Maybe Canute brings him to justice. In the end, that'd be... I wish I could read that freaking thing that flashes... I gave up after rowing, the first Rowing line. a boat is, a, is the first line. Like rowing a boat. Alright, instinct-wise, what direction do you always like going first? North, south, east, or west? You're a Viking, you don't know what lays beyond, so you can't just be like, oh, I like North America or Africa more. You have to purely go off of those instincts of whether you like south, north, east, or west, and go with it. Well... Fastball, northeast. Okay. I feel like I'm more normally inclined to go out. Like, okay, if it's like a right or left situation, I normally go right, so I would probably go east. But if I'm a Viking and I know that to the east is Russia, because that's they know that already, I would probably go south. Mm. I'd get killed. I like to go north, and there's nothing north. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Literally, you'd be like worse than that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> mm. Broke his will when he killed Ragnar. <laughs> Maybe he can use that against Askeladd. Yeah, probably could. Bjorn. 
お前が今日まで俺についてきたのはなんでだ ?Why? 俺がついていきたかったからだよ。俺もさ、俺の主は俺がついていきたくなるような男であるべきだ。なんてな。バクチだよ、ピョロン。うまくすりゃ。あの王子様は生まれ変わるかもしれん。I feel like Bjorn has to like read into that, but that's there's something else going on. あのままへこんじまって立ち直らんかもしれねえぜ。そんだけは見捨てるさ。Rap。俺の主の資格はねえ。どうだ。なんか喋るそうか。むかつくぜこの野郎は。悲鳴一つ。He won't even scream. いつも準教者気取ってやがる。Probably just one of the English they captured, I guess. So they really didn't kill English? That was just. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God! Oh, no. What? Shears? No. What are we about to do? Is he gonna Shears for like cutting grass? No, like sheep. Probably sheep skin or whatever. No, you won't. Unlikely. They gotta、uh, cut off his fingers? Oh. Or something else? Yeah, I was hoping. Yeah, it's the. Oh, no! I hate this already. Oh, my God. I can't watch this. Oh, he just cut off the finger, I think. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Uh, oh, Jesus. Man, he just keeps going. Are you supposed to ask questions first? It's so nasty. <laughs> oh! Oh! This beat's throwing off my heartbeat. Was he about to give him a history lesson? That's his people. So, this guy is Killmonger for the Welsh. <laughs> Killmonger for the Welsh. Yep. Say, take off an ear, yeah, or his nose. Wow,、uh, is this is ears. Oh, big man, impressive. Yeah, the Danes. Oh, because he doesn't realize it's Thor. Thor Kel. Kel's coming for you! <laughs> yeah. Not a bad man. It's Thor Kel. You're like, ah, shit! Yeah. 
They have a cave troll. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him shaking. They're all shaking. Look, look at them. The brothers, they're like, yeah. oh shit. Oh, there's our boy. I hate the cold. Oh, boys. Oh, no. We're getting a fight. <laughs> I want him. I want the kid. Oh, is this a scene from the, the new intro where he rips this outfit off? He's my playmate. You both mushroom. I want to see Mushroom Man against Jordan, the yeah. giant. I hope they try to run and Thorkel just like tanks one of the sleds over. Yeah. Just bonk him in the head. I was about to say. Oh, oh my. Joffrey. Oh, this kid's nowhere near as bad as Joffrey. Yeah. <laughs> been doing the past days. Yeah, well, they don't have to do it anymore if they don't want to. But, I mean, regardless of the group, you're walking with whoever. Yeah. If they're walking, the other group's walking. Oh, man. Look at this freaking monster. Have a smile. <laughs> he is a monster. Man. Yeah. Mm. Another village. Gotta make some... Oh, oh my God. God! Oh, it's him. Damn! You see the half of the head? Uh, this yeah. is the people that, that waited behind. Oh my lanta. Oh! Mm. Facts. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, fine. Facts. Who's to say they'd give up on him? <laughs> it's not like he has to war, he can probably kill everybody. Everybody's worthless to the giant. Doesn't matter, all of them, he could kill them right now. Where's the, um, priest? Oh yeah, good oh, point. Yeah. Does he have a name? Do we have a name for him? He does have a name, I don't remember it though. <laughs> there he is, speak of the devil. More liquor. Or alcohol. Wine. Where's the wine? Mm. So what is he gonna do without it? It's the only thing he's done. Mm. Maybe care for Canute for once, maybe? Nah. <clears throat> Never. <clears throat> But he bonked them on the head. Boom. Go to horny jail. Boom. <laughs> 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 this is one of my favorite memes. Gojima <laughs> <laughs> what is that? He probably suspects something bad about that. Oh, boy. Is he Just desert them? It's my special to know. 
お前大物か小物か技巧かバグか修理の物語裏切り者が混じってるのも分かるのさまあ王子を思うしておいおまいあとにはそれでもだんだんおしまいだ王子を手土産にトルケル軍に入ろうや。No, you're gonna die! あの子の関数とすぐに話しやすい。You think this will split these two brothers up? かアシェラット。裏切るって言い方は人に気悪いぜ、アトリー。あいつはいい主流だ、よくやってるよ。But we're gonna stab in the back, because you know. なのにどうしてトルケル軍に手を出したかな。アシェラットは爆打を打って負けたんだ。ただそれだけさ。よし、シグン再開。Thor Kell could just rip a tree out of the ground and place it there. Probably. Yeah. What the frick? The shining of their metal. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe. Yeah, the spears. Yeah, Pike. He's so large, man. Such a big dude. Dude. What if he, <laughs> what if he eats that spear? Yeah, he, Well, he's going to. Right. Oh! Oh my! It's <laughs> far better than I was been. Like a fucking is. kebab, bro. <laughs> run. Run, 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 run. run. Run! Another group. I don't know what you're doing. 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 I don't know 俺は急ぐので失礼するよ。お前。ああ、it's the end, man. Oh, ask a lad. His luck, his luck has run out. Dang. No way. What if he just turns right then and there? <laughs> We're wasting time here just standing around. No, I think. Oh, really? Wow. I feel like we just hit the halfway marker, too. Um, I was just gonna say the reason I brought up The Hobbit. Do you remember the unexpected journey? Uh, the outro? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember. I don't know why this uh, outro gives me those vibes. That's all I was going to say. No. Very brief. I, I remember not being a big fan of the first movie. Just the second one, it's honestly. I think a lot of people felt that way about the first time. Even though I... Third it, one was... It, it grew me. I still Third one's great if you watch it. I haven't version. seen that yet. It's a lot. I need to. We all were going to. I've seen that like two times. You haven't seen what? The, un like, the extended the, versions of Yeah, those. the unrated version of the... All of them? There's one for all of those, it's just a battle of five. They all have yeah, extended, extended versions. Oh. And the final one is the only R-rated middle earth film. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, I think I've only I seen... I knew about the last one. <laughs> I think I've only seen the first two extended. We're talking about The Hobbit, if anyone will. Yeah, The Hobbit. Because the outro reminded me of one of the... Not the Ed Sheeran one. That's crazy. That's <laughs> that's where I first heard of Ed Sheeran is from those movies. Anyway. <laughs> what do you guys think of... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No. The first time of this episode. I thought it was really good. Yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it. Um, it was good. I like seeing the disarray. There's some, I do too. There's some drama. Yeah. I yeah. love me some drama. I don't know what it is, but like I, my heart started oh, to yeah. like, tremble a bit. I'm shaking. Um, Probably because I'm cold. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I was, I was, I was, I was like, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm drinking hot tea. It's cold out. I don't know if it's just the climate. <laughs> <clears throat> the, the deception amongst the ranks is too fucking cool though it's very freaking cool but dude I'll be honest my heart is breaking that the brothers are probably gonna split at uh, yeah. Tor, Tor, Torgrim and Al Alti 
Altley. 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 A T L I. Altley. Mm-hmm. And Torgrim. Yeah. There's just a lot, of, a lot of pieces shifting. Mm-hmm. We started with the death of Ragnar, the body being brought in to Canute, who just can't believe the circumstances because he was just there eating soup with him. That was um, crazy. I love he's starting to piece it. Or do, you, do you think he's he is sus of it? it? Do you think he's, think he's gonna sus. be able to pull it off? Yeah, he's sus of it. Okay. No way, the kid's too stupid. Oh yeah, I don't. He's, think, too, really? he's too. He's too naive. He doesn't understand what's I, going I on. I think it would be cool, like if he was the one, like just to just to I don't kind know of give him a bit of like uh, something to do this season. Like maybe he's the one by the end of it. Maybe not right to, away, like Will's saying. Like not at all right now, but maybe like. I mean, I think I, back on this moment. Okay. If okay, think I don't back th- on this moment like three seasons down the line. Yeah. Maybe, oh. Like. Maybe, I don't, yeah. or I don't, like next season at, okay. at the earliest. I don't see him like taking action Before. to it. Yeah, I see him pacing it together and maybe convincing Thorfinn. Yeah. Maybe like, hey, what maybe the like, fuck. Maybe like end of season. Yeah. Somebody says something that gives like a doubt in his mind about mm-hmm. Askeladd carrying through this, and then going into season two, he's like, I need to keep an eye out, see mm-hmm. if I can confirm my feelings. Because mm-hmm. Askeladd has power. Or, like, the the ability to manipulate him right now, but Canute, at the end of the day... Like, what, what Askeladd's wanting to do is rule. Like, rule him without the, the title of king. The puppet master. Yeah. And that only works as long as the, the kid remains ignorant and dumb of the circumstances. If Canute wises up to his benefit, I think he's right now smarter than a Tommen or a Joffrey. He knows to keep his mouth shut and not say things that will get his nation in trouble. Mm-hmm. He's not clear enough of a mind to realize his father wants him dead. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, if he can't even fucking <clears throat> figure out that his dad wants to kill him, yeah, and that his dad doesn't even really like him. But we like, don't know his dad either. Like, what kind of man or how well he's good at keeping secrets. Well, with that, you would think, like, Ragnar knew that. You'd think Ragnar would try to teach him some things along the way. No, Ragnar tried to coddle him <laughs> yeah. and protect him. I mean, like, that's... He cool. babied that's him. the whole reason he why did. Canute's this way. Yeah. And he even said, he's like, yeah, I don't have the heart to tell him that mm, that was yeah. what was going on. So you gotta protect... You gotta protect Canute. So... Yeah, it's hard to know. That That's why it's like, there. I, I mean, there needs to be, a, like, a whole... A minimum, my personal opinion, a whole season's worth oh, of growth for this fucking kid. Absolutely. To piece that together. That's gonna be very difficult to break him. Or for him to ad- adapt. Yeah. After being coddled for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure um, how well, like how well, how obvious of a man his father is. Maybe Ragnar and his brother were privy to info on the secret council. Oh yeah, his brother. And became aware of stuff behind the scenes. It's, it's I don't know. I don't really know the people who surround themselves around the king yet, other than Floki. So I was just hopefully given Canute because he needs he needs something. He needs something for me to be like, ooh, before the end of the season so I can, like... Because <clears throat> we only have so many characters, you know? Yeah. Real quick, I wanted to ask... I think it's been you the, the most who has been thinking Bjorn might turn. Yes. You still think that now? We'll have to get to that. Because I feel like that's that whole end piece is a bit in and of itself to talk about for Bjorn. Um, for this part, just to leave and come back to it later, I'm not sure if he will now, but... We, we can talk about that because I guess it's the next thing is <clears throat> Ask Lad out in the snow. Was, was that the next thing? What was the very next scene after Canute's, Canute and Ragnar's body? They went out and tortured the... The man. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we got pretty much the whole Killmonger speech. Hey, here's the realization. You think we're the beasts. You've been the beast in your past life too. People like you settled here. After the people before you came and did what we're doing now to you, because once there was the Celts, then there was the Roman, then there was the Anglo-Saxon, and now there's the Danes. Yeah. It's any colonizing faction taking over any already established civilization. The only thing that doesn't do too well for Askeladd is I would say more of the Romans would have been the antagonist forces pushing in. To a, and now making an, a vacant land for the Anglos to take over. <clears throat> I don't know if the Anglos are the ones who are the intruders, because the land is already destroyed, right? I mean, how, how I don't know the history. I'm just taking from what Asklad said. He said the Celts were there, 
taken out by the Romans. Well, but they, no, he said they land. he said they worked together and they gave him knowledge and technology. Oh, so they, the they're Romans not, not the Romans Help came the and ruled. Well, the Romans came and ruled over the Celts. Yeah, so they just established themselves in land, but they ruled then over the people there. Him. And then they, you know, Roman Empire collapses. They leave, and then the Anglo Saxons come in, and then just like, hey, yeah. you guys, we're just taking this land. Yeah, it's not yours. Okay, anymore. that makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Ask like can say everything he wants. I'll still hold the same truth that he's no different than them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. Violence doesn't merit more violence because uh, you'll end up with the same result. You'll have other people come back and be like, 500 years from now, the Anglos will be like, do you want to know the history <laughs> about how you people came? And then he's going to be like, well, let me tell you the history about how your people came first. Yeah. And the whole, who you want to blame first. I mean, I get his point, but... Well, I yeah, I, I just... I, his point wasn't necessarily of who to blame. It's just like, you. he's like, you're going to sit here and point the yeah. finger at me... When you guys have been doing the same thing too, so it's yeah, like yeah. I'm just I'm just doing exactly what y'all have been doing and mm-hmm. what and what everyone before you has done. Like we're all just playing the same game and doing yeah. the same thing. Don't be the victim in this because because mm-hmm. sure, if it was 400 years earlier, you might be on that side. Exactly. So don't call me the beast. We're all the beasts in this. Yeah. I mean, I guess he did because the guy my, the guy did call him a beast. So I guess it's fair game at that yeah. point. But I never like projecting someone else's sin onto you just because you sh- same share the same blood. So yeah, but yeah, I get asked a lot. Um, but yeah, then the freak out came because Thorkell's troops are rolling up. Yeah, and they get to the bridge. They tear. They start tearing the bridge down as Asklad tells them to, and Asklad sends the betrayals coming. Um, and our brothers have a discussion of joining up with the half the men that want to betray Askeladd and take the prince and run to Thorkell. Yeah. It honestly looks like the majority of the men. Yeah. I mean, it looks like most of them were probably on that side at yeah. that point. Um, yeah. I mean, it sucks. It, you know, you get... They're on a... They're... Ever since they got a hold of Canute. Askeladd has been behaving differently mm-hmm. and they've been making choices that are more daring because um, it's going to... Askeladd's taking a risk to get a high reward and hopefully having the favor of this kid so he can protect, you know, his homeland but it's pushing his people to, like, the brink of you know, destruction. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, well... Is it going to pay off for you, or are you going to be like a lone man walking with Canute and Torfin because Torfin wants to kill you? you know what, what if I mean? that's the plan? Have the weather and Thorkel just kill off his men and he gets away. Well, uh, you think that might be Asglad's plan? Yeah. For why he's doing that other day walk or whatever? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now because that walk ain't happening. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, well, that's the only thing. I'm that's like, all theoretical at this point. I just don't. You just got to. He's gotta have. He's gotta survive. Honestly, I think Askeladd was just. I, I mean, he might have realized the hole that he just dug himself before he went to the hole. Maybe he was just hoping that the men would march, and just realized they're probably not gonna march with me. But I'm just gonna say it anyway until I know for sure that they're gonna turn on me right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, oh, they did what I thought. Yeah. It was worth the theory. The theory of moving forward a day, uh, even before that, Bjorn the night before came up to him talking about was talking loudly about Canute right. and he shared the info this is private mm-hmm. so for the part of you asking me what will Bjorn do I don't know because I feel like that's very useful info if Bjorn's feeling a way about his master yeah and, and he I, even asked him why are you following me yeah and what was what was uh, his retort didn't he say he said because like, I wanted to and he yeah, said that was, was it I do the same thing yeah didn't you say that he, he threw a little jab at Bjorn? He didn't throw a jab at Bjorn, but he said that... He says, why are you following me? And he's like, well, because I want to. And then... Uh, That's Ask the kind Glad of leader says, I want. Asklad says... He says that he does the same thing. He follows the Lord that he wants to. Mm. Like, he chooses his own leader at that point. So, in that situation, I, I think that that... Granted, like, they've never served under, like, a specific king... You know what I mean? Like, they've kind of seen, like, they've been doing their own thing. Yeah. Except when they've been called upon to, like, join, like, King Swen and all that. Um, but I feel like for Bjorn, 
what that could say to him about Askeladd is like, oh, like I don't know if he's gonna side with like the English or if he's gonna side with who, you know, whoever. It doesn't matter who it is. He could side with somebody else that might just like throw us into a fucking like nut nut job of a situation. Like, you know, when he finds out that he's trying to work with the the Welsh, how is Bjorn going to take that now, knowing that there's all been like a <clears throat> scheme all along? Yeah. Um, have Loki been rooting for it? I know people are like, how do you forget in the comments? How do you forget that these are Vikings and they do devious things? I think we spend most of the show not having them do horrible things. Yeah. They just do it every once in a while. And it's hard because we, there's only so, there, there's such a limitation on who we have available and it's very hard to watch a show and not have anyone to like. Yeah. So I think people forget that we try to place some value on who we can and can't like Mm -hmm. at times. And when everybody's killing, you have to try to like them at some point. So you're not just watching a a show that makes you depressed by the end of the day, Mm -hmm. which the show can make you freaking feel. And then, of course, when they do even worse atro- atrocious acts, you're like, I'm going to place them on a pedestal of who I want to hate for the week. Yeah. So it's not like we forget that they're bad, but it's like, oh, yeah, it's a great reminder of why I guess it's hard to like these people to begin with. Yeah. So why did I bring that up? I guess I was just getting that out of the way. And the whole thing of Escalade saying he fucking hates the Danes. That yeah, too. Yeah, just uh, all the more confusion Yeah. Uh, on why we were probably just distracted during that episode when mm-hmm. he was murdering everybody in the cold of night yeah regardless if he considers it a mercy or not or whether we consider it a mercy or not it's still such an episode well it's just like i mean i know they raided villages earlier in the season yeah. too but they we do. also like like you said it's a tv show they make it so it's characters that you enjoy to watch and then they do so i feel like game of thrones is one of those shows like not to i feel like we brought up that show so much when we watch this but like you have characters that are horrible, but you end up growing to like them because of like their personality and like who they are as a person outside of like war. You know what I mean? You have to pick and choose to like someone. Yeah, but that, like them. but then it's like then they do something that's like oh they like you know murdered children and it's like you know yeah. oh yikes. Uh, you know, yep. place value on the the lesser bad guys. Yeah, yeah, for the time yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like they start doing stuff like that. You're like, yikes! You know what I mean? Like even, <laughs> yeah, well, like <laughs> even like I this mean, episode's like, a great example though, because yeah. I was like, let's go with Thorkel, and then they send all the people over to Thorkel's yeah, group, and he's just massacring. Him. Like, ah, yeah, damn. Well, I guess I still like Canute, I guess, or the brothers. Yeah, like, so, I, don't I, yeah I don't know. We, it's also like. Vikings get romanticized in sure. media nowadays, so it's like you kind of you get to enjoy the story of them all going and raiding and doing all this yeah. stuff, and then you forget that they're like, you know, assaulting and battering and burning and doing horrible things to like men, women, and children. Yeah, everything, everything, so. everything gets romanticized today. So now yeah. we're left with a bunch of antiheroes. People don't like your Supermans anymore because people complain they're too good. Too, yeah, too good. like we this is what we're, we're stuck with when you don't like. And you can't just enjoy a guy who's just a good dude. We get stuck with these people. This is what happens. I hate antiheroes so much. Oh, I love them. So it depends on who it awesome. is. We all like Stain, I would assume. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's a hero in his own way, but he's also kind of a villain. He's not a hero. He's a bad guy. But the values. He's a hero killer. killer. He, has, he has hero values for a system that's Hero broken. values and murders people. And murders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, just like... I'm trying to pick from who we got. Um... I'm sorry, just want to finish that or put my own thought into it. I personally rather would watch a horrible villain than someone that's like, I'm a good guy, but I do horrible things to be good. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just watch, like, the Joker just, like, fucking, like, murder people because he can and he's an awful human being to create mm-hmm. chaos than be like, hmm, yeah. you know, I like to kill people and heroes, but I also like to kill the bad guys because I have a twisted sense of reality. <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> like, How do you feel about morally gray characters? Mm. Or like some episodes they do. I think it's entertaining. Questionable. I think it's entertaining because it's uh, it's fun to uh, argue and discuss like the juxtaposition that someone gets put in because of like the moral decisions that they make. Um, like an antihero of like having to decide whether like do we kill like the the few to save the many or you know 
do we try to uphold like certain standards or outside views so we have to kill you because like you know you know like any type of decision like that like it's interesting for like a discussion point um and it makes the show more complicated to watch but i just think it's like stupid because i feel like most of the time it's like forced where would you place Askeladd amongst those four like categories I mean, to me, he's just a bad guy. I was about to say that. Yeah. I think he's just a bad guy. I mean, he's just a bad guy that's just, like... Likeable. He's just yeah. a bad guy with a likable personality that is playing all sides for his, like, personal gain. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe you could spin it to being an anti-hero for, like, wanting to protect the Welsh, but, like, we don't yeah. really know the Welsh, so it's like, yeah. do we care about them mm-hmm. personally as, like, an audience, you know? I guess he'd be a, a protagonist villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it was, like, a... Uh, if it was like Thor, like let's pretend Thorfinn was doing this for his family back in Iceland, and like we've known who these people in Iceland are, and we're like, oh yes, protect them, but you have to do these horrible things, and like I feel like that's where it would feel more anti hero esque than like Askeladd that's just like been a dick since day one. I mean, he yeah. freaking killed Thor's man. It's Screw true. that guy. True. I can't think of any characters. <clears throat> I think of two, but they're spoilers, and I can't bring up. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fine. Um, back to the last part of the episode, I guess, was the turning of most of the gang, if not all of them, I guess. Because, uh, well, first of all, I did love the, I love the spear. Love oh, the spear oh the, the, the Lord. kebab. Amazing. Yeah, it was perfect. It's uh, almost too good to be true. I, I, I love that one of them, one of the men was like, oh my god, he took out three men with, with one spear. How is that possible? And then one dude was like, no, he actually took out four. There's a fourth body. There's a fourth yeah. guy under there. I was feeling how all the men felt as soon as as soon as I saw Thor kill up on the hill. I was like, I mean, isn't this game over? Like, yeah. shouldn't this be like the end? Because haven't yeah. we seen this guy like throw a bloody boulder across an ocean? Like a through sea, a tree, <laughs> like a huge portion of land. Like, yeah. we got the most anime character up on the hill, and you're saying we can make a walk. I was feeling like all the guys, and I saw the spear, and I was like. Oh shit, that thing's flying. Yes, it is. And then when it flew, that sword. And Askeladd says, Yeah, we're walking. I was like, Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I immediately <laughs> thought that there was just going to be another one that popped yeah. actually like eight guys. So, I do think we are getting up to the point in the intro, the first half of the show's intro where you see Torfin charge at Askeladd. It does look like that field, right? Do you, do you all, do we all feel that way? Well, don't they switch? I thought in they the- showed in the second one too. Yeah, well, no, well, in the first one the, they do that, but then the second time they do it, it's Thorkel. Thorkel. Yes. Yeah, I'm the, I, I just mean like, very briefly in the first half they show the child running at him during the spring, and then the adult version that we never got in to the see, snow. In the snow, maybe that was like a tease to what we get. Yeah, and that gets maybe. accompanied with like the tournament we're seeing of Bjorn eating a shroom and choke slamming a guy. I want to see that, that so bad. Thorkel taking off his shirt and hacking at. Maybe we just yeah. get a. What I what Bro. I thought would be cool is like this is where all the Vikings fight challenging one-on-ones to who's going to be the top dog like a tournament like tournament arc i was joking about like <laughs> like torfin wants to be the leader now i'm yeah. gonna fight this guy and ask lad gets tra- challenged by the brothers and the brothers are like we'll both be kings together and fight you and then thorkel's like let's do it all right and, Thorkel's and like, bjorn's like fight. whatever i'm throwing my claim in too if we're yeah. all doing this i don't know i just think it'd be funny i know it's a little unreal unrealistic but hopefully that there's a little seed of anime that just gets Unrealistically pushed into the show from the yeah. Thorkel just um, pulls some popcorn out of his shirt, just watches them fight. Oh, yeah. with, with his two fingers. Yeah. How many fingers did he lose? Yeah, these two. Just swipes into his hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess you can still use it with Yoda fingers. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, you can only get like a little two thirds handful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think is a better leader, Escalade or Thorkel? I don't think Thorkel's a leader. I was gonna say that. I think Thorkel's a good hype man. I was gonna say that because I mean, I wanted to say like I don't really think Thorkel gives a shit about his men. He just cares about the battle. No, like Thorkel literally is just like I'm strong and I want to fight. So if you want to fight and make money, follow me. Join That's me. really it. Whereas like Askeladd seems to have like some type of like char- charisma that and like. Uh, logistical or strategic planning that make people be like, yeah. oh, we want you to be in charge. Or Thorkel's like, I'm just strong as fuck. I'm like, no, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this, like, just follow me. It's like, the characters are so different. I would guess, I would have to like narrow the question down to like, what do you want from a leader? Do you want a hype guy who's gonna lead you to war? Or a guy who might have 
a death wish, a hand in things that you don't you're not comfortable with at this point in your fucking mm. career. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. It depends. They on what both you want. want death wishes, honestly. Okay. So do we think? Do we think Asgard could beat Thorkel? <sighs> he barely beat Thor's. No. I'd say no. I'd say no because he was talking about his old age. Yeah. I don't know if Thorkel would be the one to do it though. I don't know if I'd like Thorkel to be the one. So if I'm they not saying he would kill him. I'm just I'm just asking like. Do you think he could take I, him? I just don't understand why Askeladd was so comfortable at like going at like okay. All right, this is just like my how I've thought of it in this show. So I could be completely wrong. So don't you know freak out at working title if this isn't the case. But <laughs> I assumed just by the way that they talked about tours. And the way we saw him in the first episode, and just like between like Floki, Askeladd, Thorkel, who all seem to be the strongest guys that we have, like those are like the top four. Um, Tor seemed to be like the strongest one out of them all. And I don't really know what Torque I can't remember now because it's just been like a month or pl- a month plus since we met Torkel the first time and what he said about Askeladd. Or not Askeladd, I'm sorry. Tors. What he said about Tors. I know he said that they like knew each other. And that was like his like brother ask. Um, but I don't know if he said he was like the strongest or like Thorkel. Um, yeah, Thorkel's Thor- the second strongest. Yeah, I'm pretty Tors. sure he said he couldn't beat Tors. Okay, so here's my thing. Everyone knew who the fuck Tors was then. Yeah, he was so strong. It seems so, like a lot of people know Thorkel, and a lot of people know Thorkel, yeah. and Thorkel literally could easily take on Askeladd's hundred men on his own. <clears throat> so like, why did Askeladd think that he could take on Tors on his own? You know what I mean? Sure. Well, like if Tors isn't like a pacifist. Then he wins that fight. Oh, like why would he dare? Because he didn't know he was. A well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, unless Asclad is stronger than we think, mm. you know what I mean? I mean, I know it was mm. like I know that we set up like a trap. Like there was sure, a trap sure. set up, and they had him under arrow like, why coverage. Would he, but if, just he, knew, if he knew the target, why would he put himself in a death situation? Yeah. Yes, not knowing the pacifism. Yes, and I know it's now we're like Maybe years removed stronger. from, and now, but I'm saying now we're years removed from that. So like you could be right with like the old age thing, but it's just to me it's just like weird. I'm like, well, why? Like, why has he been like so? Maybe I don't know. Like so, they've been running from this fade for a while I don't now. Know. And Thorkel's getting should be getting old too. I mean, if he was young enough to be fighting with Tors, he was. Yeah, and Asclad seems to be around the same age. I feel like he would be like as Tors. Maybe Asclad stronger. Maybe he is stronger. I don't know. It's hard because I mean he didn't win the fight against Tors. Well, right? and no, he didn't. Uh, Tors no, disarmed Tor- him. Yeah, his sword broke. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and maybe then... he just wanted to test the might. He's like, fight. Uh, I mean, it, maybe it's it is a thing that him like he doesn't care if he l- wins or loses. Like he just wants to fight the mighty Thor, or Tors, and see how it goes yeah. for him. I think it's just weird, too, just because, like, thinking about, like, I don't know, knowing what we know about Askeladd now, to me, I'm like, what were you doing for ten years prior to, like, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to, like he seems like he's a man with a plan, and he's always had a plan. So, like, why is it just now that we're getting this, like, Welsh story? Or, like, or why is it just now, yeah. I know it's season one of the show, so of course we're just going to be getting the story, but, like, why is it, like, just now in your life when you're, like, pushing, like, 50, 60 or, like, mid to late 40s that you're, like, okay, now we're gonna try and, like, protect the Welsh forever. I mean, I'm sure opportunity arises, but it's just, like, yeah, it seems say. like the plan just kind of was, like, thrown to go, like, all right, we're gonna do this now. Because it's in our possession. Yeah, that's it. That's probably it. Maybe the time we found him when he was just being a pirate was when he didn't think the plan would work. And maybe more recently he felt like there was more of a... Maybe it's like the thing where you don't have a, you have a death wish for your life for a huge portion of your life, and then towards the end of your life you realize there's something you can actually do with it, and now you got to be conservative about how you do things. Like you got yeah. more reserved with your resources, and then he got more scared for his life. I don't know. Maybe he was more cocky a couple years prior. I know it's only a couple years, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a it's a good question. I don't really know an answer. But. And then also Torfin has like gotten washed by him every single time he's fought, but then Torfin thought. Thorkel, and he, I mean, he cut off his fingers thing, yeah. and actually seemed to actually have like gotten a little bit of a good fight with him. So mm-hmm. it's the blood. Every yeah. time I bring up the blood, that's not fantasy, Sam. Shut the hell up! And yeah, I'm Sam, here. shut up, stupid. You're wrong. As as Thorkel chucks a spear, mm-hmm. yeah. a mile away. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have no reason to believe. 
the show is fantastical in any way. Yeah, it's a great show. I'm, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad it's ramping up. Uh, yeah. And I want to see what happens next. But, hey guys, done? Yeah. Yep. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. We will see you in the next video. But before that, make sure you comment down below what you thought of this episode. Were you shocked that all the men betrayed? Were you ready? Were you expecting it? This is obviously the non manga readers who read everything ahead. Check out the Patreon if you want to see these a week in advance. We have other shows as well, as we told you in the beginning of the episode. And for the time being, we are going to punch it. Farewell. Bye.